let's discuss this geometrical question appeared in KVPY 2014 and the question says that two unequal circles have the direct common tangent AB and CD and uh, PQ is the transverse common tangent which uh, intersects the direct common tangent AB at R and CD at S. Now the length of the direct common tangent AB is given to be 10 and we need to find out the length RS. Now the single most, most important concept that will be used to solve this question is that uh, as we know that for a circle the length of the tangent from an external points are always equal. So this is the idea that we will we are going to use. So to start with like uh, we know that AB is a direct common tangent that is equal to the length of CD another direct common tangent both are equal to 10. So to start with I am taking suppose BR equal to A so RA will become 10 minus A and uh, CS equal to B then SD will be 10 minus B. Now we can write down the length of RS to be equal to RP plus PS okay so we can write down RS to be equal to RP plus PS now RP is nothing but RA and PS is nothing but CS okay because the length of the tangent from R to the circle bigger circle RA should be equal to RP so RP should be equal to RA and uh, from S the two tangent length SC and SP should be equal. So RS can be written down to be equal, equal to RA that is uh, 10 minus A plus CS and CS is nothing but B. Now similarly the length RS can also be written down as SQ plus QR. Now SQ will be equal to SD and QR will be equal to BR due to the same logic. We can say that from S, SD is a tangent to the smaller circle that should be equal to SQ and from R, RQ and RB they should be equal. So RS can also be written as SD so that is uh, 10 minus B, 10 minus B plus BR, the BR is nothing but A. So this is one way of representing RS and this is another way of representing RS. So both these values should become identical. So 10 minus A plus B should be equal to 10 minus B plus A. So 10 cancels out and from here we can easily see that A is coming out to be equal to B. So since A is uh, equal to B, so we can get the value of RS to be, we have calculated RS to be 10 minus A plus B and since we have proved that A equal to B, so these two values will be cancelled out and we will get the value of RS to be equal to 10.